We're backstage in Boston. I'm joined by John Vellante, who just told me something that very nonchalantly, <laughs> you broke your hand in the first round? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it happened. I'm actually probably the first time I broke my hand, but yeah, it's definitely broken. It's pretty small <laughs> and it hurts. But yeah, I mean, I'm not there to pull a shot. If I break it, I'm going to keep going. I, it didn't look like they took anything off it, right? I mean, I, I kept throwing it as hard as I can. So yeah, it hurts. I'm not going to be... Uh, be drinking beers left handed, be drinking Modelo's left handed all night. <laughs> I mean, but it's all right. I'm ready to go, and that's it, man. It, it just it stinks, but I want to put on a show. Yeah, talk to me about your end of the performance yeah. because throughout the week there was a consistent theme with you saying I need to work on going for the kill, or once I hurt somebody, I need to pounce. You never stopped moving forward. Yeah. So were you pleased with what you were able to do with the dance partner in there tonight? Ah, uh, pleased with my end, I guess. I mean, I did put keep my. My foot on the gas the whole time. Didn't pump the brakes, didn't hit the brakes at all. I kept going. Uh, I'm not going to be stupid and op leave myself open for anything, but I'm trying, man. And if he's not there to swing back with me, it's kind of hard to land that knockout shot if he's just covering up and running and getting away and getting away and getting away. And I mean, I'm cutting off the cage and I still can't, you know, get the finish. It, it was tough. It was difficult, frustrating. Luckily, I got the win. Don't know how the judges, one of the judges gave him the score. Scary stuff. I'm going for the knockout every time. <laughs> So, fighting here at the Garden, it seemed like you were pretty amazed to be inside um, this gigantic Boston arena that's got so much history. Was it fun for you, or was it a little bit nerve-wracking? Uh, I mean, it's, it's always nerve-wracking. I say it every time. I mean, every fight in your career, every next fight is the biggest fight in your career. And this is definitely, I mean, how do you get any bigger? Biggest heavyweight fight in history. Uh, one of my best friends, brother, Stipe, the main event winning. I mean, he, he's going to kill it <laughs> later. I mean, so it's, it's in Boston. Huge arena, all these people. I mean, huge, a lot of pressure. But, I mean, same thing. I had to go out there and get the finish. I'm very frustrated I didn't get it, but I guess there's always next time. <laughs> you get more nervous for yourself or for Stipe tonight? Uh, definitely Stipe. It's kind of difficult when you can't be the one in there doing the actual th doing the deed. You know what I mean? So it's difficult. I'm sure you know what it's like, you know. Uh, being that person sees everything that goes into it. You know, I was, did training camp with Stipe, so I know what it, everything that went into it. Family, life, everything. I know what goes into it, yeah. so it's it's difficult to see. I think and not be able to go in there and just you know kick the guy in the shin, and run the other way or something. Like I want to kick Nagani right now, right in the <laughs> shin, and then have Steve go in for the kill. You know, like right. you want to be able to do. It. So I do, every time I, I get nervous with Chris, you know, it's, it's tough when you can't be the one doing it. So. Right. Well, I know that you will be cheering for Stipe Modelo in hand, <laughs> and then the rest of the night will all be a blur, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, John. Always fun to watch you perform. Can I spike this Gronk style right now, or do you need this? Oh, we need that. Oh. We need that. Thank you. <laughs>